the 65 foot Estrella from HCB guys look at this it's got seven marine on it five engines let's let's see if they let us do a quick walk on this bad boy HCB here representing as always let's see what we got here guys that's very very nice and to think this is a center console it's not a center console this is the center console of all center consoles all right that is great and we are boarding all right I'll tell you one of the things that is so elegant on this boat are these teak gunnels We are inside the cabin of this 65 Estrella. Oh, nice. You see that? I wouldn't even have known that was there. Yeah, and then this table folds down. You do a bed, you throw a cushion there, it'll sleep fine. So you can have, and this is in, in this is the console. Under the console, I mean, it's a cabin. It's a cabin. Like this. Freezer there. Freeze there. TV's actually a mirror when you turn it off. And you got a full master statement forward. Microwave above. Storage over here. And that's your master here, right? Yes, sir. How fast are you getting? Because I'm, I'm sure people are going to look at this and the, and the buyer for something like this will probably compare it to maybe like a viking or something like that and say you know what i want to go to the bahamas quicker faster still have the amenities and run in any water and, and run in any water. Run in three, feet of water three feet of water in this 65 foot wow that is incredible um what do you do what are you doing top speed with these uh, this has five uh Five seven marines? Uh, just about 60. 60. 60 miles an hour, guys, on a 65 foot center console. Are you guys calling this a center console or a yacht? What are you calling this? Center console, super console. Center console, center console super yeah. console. Guys, look at all the. Now, there's a couple more of these being made. Uh, they, they told me there's a couple more being made right now. Second one. And I've seen people all over them at the show here in Fort Lauderdale. So primarily you're getting a, a lot of people that want to fish at the same time, have family. Fish, cruise, all the above. Yeah, nice. Guys, look at all the features and space. All teak floor. Look at the finishes. Nice and open. One of the things I noticed last night is uh, super impressive. Back here, it projects the projector here will project the inside or outside. Yeah, that is fantastic. So if you're fishing, you want to see what's going on on your GPS or your plotter.
Now, have you had already people that have a 53 that already want the 65? Five. Five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I could already see that. That is incredible. Guys, look at this. This, more seating area, more people so you can go ahead and just hang out. I mean, look at the finishes, guys. This is, this is a fantastic, this is a fantastic boat. So listen, this is it, guys. Thank you for watching Monsters at the Show. I'm gonna just close it out with this one because this 65 Estrella is just, I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's, it's, just, it's just a beautiful boat. All right, guys, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and we're gonna be going ahead and doing a lot more Monsters at the Show, and maybe we'll start doing some sea trials on these bad boys. Thanks for watching. Matt, thank you, boss. And we have the Estrella, guys. Look at this screen. Look at this screen, guys. You're fishing. You want to know where the fish are? Look at that. On the back glass, projecting. Now that's what you call a monster at the boat show. Thank you for visiting the boat show. We'll see you next year. Oh my goodness, guys. We're here at Cigarette. One, two, three, four, five, six. Welcome aboard. Oh my goodness. Wow. Guys, look at this. I would say this is not even considered a monster anymore, guys. This has six outboard 400 Mercury racing. Chad, wow. Dude, I am blown away. Thank you very much. So tell me about this boat. First of all, how big is this boat? 59 feet, 14 foot wide. Wow. Yep, it's uh, 31,000 pounds dry and uh, 39,700 fully loaded with fuel. That is sweet. So, I mean, wh where do we start? Like, how did this? How did this even come to mind? Uh, did somebody custom make this? How did this boat evolve? Like, tell me a little bit about it, or, or. Is this a custom boat? Is this something that you guys are going to be doing? Well, it, it's a it's a boat that that uh, you can buy now. This is the it was just introduced uh, at, at this show, and uh, we wanted to do something bigger. But we didn't just want it to be bigger. We wanted it to be a completely different experience. So um, not not only is it a bigger boat, but it has a lot of different features, such as a summer kitchen in the back. These lounge seats here they come together and they merge to be one sun pad. I see that here. So. Can we walk back here and you can show me all this? This is just insane. So, there's, this is insane. So if we open this up here, there's a that sink, is. a grill, you got your trash, and got trash cans in here. This boat is sold already, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's sold. There's no way this this boat is not sold. Yes, this boat's sold. It's, it's already sold. Look at that. Storage in here. So, basically, people are at a sandbar hanging out. They come up here, cook a burger, hang out. This is this is incredible. So, I see you guys are all piped up with uh, JO Audio system and all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, how's the storage and and what, yeah, so, what do we have as far as like amenities and things that people are gonna really enjoy and like about this so boat? So the storage concept is, is that instead of it being mostly floor storage, we brought the storage like you saw back here, yeah. where it's more at uh, at your arms level. So you'll see next to the hard top here, you have uh, storage that you can open up like your home. I see that. So here's a refrigerator. These are all painted on both sides. Nice. Over here, you have a wine rack. What if we're pirates? Wow. And is this the the radio here? Yeah. So it's it's a digital switching system. So there's um, two 24 inch Garmin's in the uh, helm, and then there's four nine inch Garmin's that are around the boat, and you can control the boat from any of those Garmin's or an iPad. Or an iPad as well. Yeah. 
Wow. So it's also a hybrid system, so all yeah, critical cool. systems, there's yeah, a manual yeah, backup yeah. switch for. Uh, yeah. so, yeah, big stereo, you noticed. Uh, four, four bolts. watts. That is incredible. And you said it goes about 70 miles an hour? 72 miles an hour. 72 miles an hour, top, top speed, and cruising is what? Uh, cruising is going to be around 50 miles an hour, 45, 50 for optimum uh, economy. This, upho this upholstery miles. looks really nice, but look at this. Yeah, oh. so this is in bolster mode, or you can push it down and then it's in seat mode. That is incredible. It has helm air conditioning. That is really nice. Seakeeper gyro. So, uh, gyro for uh, reducing roll. Yep. Nice. And is that going to be custom in all these uh, boats? Yes, we, um, well, it's, it's a Seakeeper standard of the boat. It's a standard. Yeah, gyro is standard. Okay, sweet. So, what do we got going forward up here? I see, we'll get into the, into the console, but let's look in, oh my goodness. You know, I almost feel like I'm not on a boat. You know this, right? Huh? I almost feel like I'm not on a boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. Like, like so, this is this is this is spectacular. There's two tables here. Okay. So you can have it table height, lounge height, where you put in a pad, or it can go flush with the floor like this one is. Okay, sweet. And they're individually controlled, so you can just move it like this. Wow. So that'll go down flush with the floor. Nice. And you can bring them up too if you wanted to go ahead and lay out and. Yep. That is nice. And you got more areas here. Man, look at all these lines and curves and so sexy. Now, where are you guys making this uh, boat? Where, where we make the boats here in Florida. In Florida. Yep. Nice. And all this here, just hang out. Is there anything under here or, or it's just... Uh, nope, but that becomes... When you inside walk down the, the console. Cabin, you'll see what's at. Okay, so I guess that'll be the money shot right like where I'm gonna just completely lose it so let's take a look at the cabin can you show me inside the cabin because I think I think this boat sold because of the cabin right not the six engines and 70 miles an hour I think it's the total pack yeah <laughs> all right guys so welcome that's my down to the cigarette baby wow so, as you can probably smell, uh, it's uh, all leather in here. Brand new, yep. Premium bovine leather. Um, and one thing you'll notice is if you look through this window, or actually either window on either side, you can see right through. Oh, so look. So, if you're on the water, you'll see, you'll see the water through there. Wow, that is crazy. You have another 9-inch Garmin down here. You have a TV in here. That just um, comes out of here? Yeah, you just lift up this hatch. Got a TV. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And that's another little refrigerator yep. down here? Another refrigerator, drawer fridge, storage. All these all these lights are wrapped in leather, they're a capacitive touch. And uh, let's yeah. see. Inside, so I'm assuming this is the door to the yep. Yep. bathroom, right? Take a look. Oh, look at this. Wow, it's big. I didn't think it was going to be this big. Yeah. Look at that. What do you guys think, guys? If you guys think this is a great boat, smash the like button. This is incredible. The people here at Cigarette, this boat has been sold. They've been so nice to go ahead and let us see this boat. This is incredible. Chad, listen. Thank you for coming aboard. The people are going to fall in love with this boat. Thank you. Um, if they wanted to get more information on this particular boat or your brand and cigarette, where can they go? CigaretteRacing.com. Cigarette Racing. Anything else that they got to take a look at that maybe is in the Monster 4 or 5? This is, I don't know, I think this is a Mega Monster. That's what yeah, we'll call so that. We have, six, uh, six engines. 41 GTR is a very popular boat. You'll see that on the website. Cool. Um, 42 Huntress. We're just introducing our Elite Edition this year. How, what's the turnaround time for someone to, to get a boat like this? Right now, these boats are out till late summer. Late summer. Yeah. And the fueling capacity on this, more or less? A thousand gallons. A thousand gallons. Yeah. All right. Hey, Chad, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Cigarette, people. Cigarette. Yeah.
All right, guys. So I'm on the Scout Mega Monster. You guys gotta check this boat out. We got Alan from Scout gonna show us this boat. Six engines, amazing. Take a look at this boat. You trust me, you're gonna love it. She looks nice in the water. We're about to jump on her real quick. Six engines, guys. Six engines, stay tuned, stay tuned. We should be on this bad boy any minute now. Wow, what a boat. So Alan, tell me, tell me the whole thought process of, of what you're trying to capture here for the comfort and stuff for, for the people that want to look into this boat. So this is our brand new mothership. It's the 530 LXF. Superstructure of this boat is built out of carbon fiber and e-glass and on top of that it's epoxy infused. Wow. So one of the most strongest boats out there on the market. Uh, performance, style, luxury. We built it to um, as a day yacht, a cruiser with performance. This particular boat is sold. It has six Mercury 400s on the back, the non-racing new engines. You definitely saw that. Absolutely. It runs about 70 miles an hour and it doesn't need six engines, it doesn't need five, it actually runs great in four. So four or five or six engine setup is done. So this boat, the way it's set up with four engines, it, it will it will perform? Absolutely. Up really? Yep. Wow, that, that's five pretty impressive. Yep, mid 60s, low 60s. Um, six engine setup pushes it right out about 70 miles an hour. Wow. How is it performing, like, you know, cruising on, on with those six engines? It's getting about 0 .6, 0 .6, so it's not too bad for a boat this size. Nice. Um, around 875 gallons. So, uh, and the cruise range is real wide. It's about a 10 mile an hour cruise range. The boat takes off real level, runs level, gets on a plane at about 20 miles an hour. I see you got a lot of comforts and tables. Do Absolutely. these tables go away? And, and yeah, they do go up and down, so you can, uh, they, they're uh, independent of each other. If you wanted to lower one and have a lounge on one side, a table on the other side, you can do that. Nice. You got storage underneath all these. Lots of area. We built it where you can walk right up to the anchor, get to the windlass without having to go around the tables. Large lounge here. There's a skate patch down there in the cabin in case of emergency. Um, down a panel, come out through a window, this cushion here in the center lifts up. So that'll get you access in there. That's that's awesome. Okay. Nice. Inside the uh, helm area there, it's temperature controlled okay. and you have 10 seats. So if you did want to get out of the uh, weather, out of the land or if it's raining, you can go inside there. We have enclosures, not on this boat, but they are available with mm -hmm. doors on either side and then an aft windscreen that's made out of acrylic. Um, and then we have heated seats. So total comfort all the way around so if you're in the in in the console right now you'd you'd see outside from there is that something or? You, you get a little light through you there. get a little light yep and then on top of the console this large black panel right here allows light through as well okay and then we have a an electric shade so you press a button and it'll darken that where you can't see through it at all great let's take a look at the helm and cooler boxes on either side Pop up lights. Oh, sweet. That's definitely nice. So, here is where the people have been flipping out at the show, guys. Count them, count them. 70 miles an hour and how, how what was the length on this boat again uh, Alan? 53 53 yep. wow so so tell me what features we have back here and you got dual dive doors nice dual bay wells all right of course so forward facing Pull out stern seat. Just a, a lot of comforts and kind of standard with the sea keeper. We've got a 15 kW generator down here with a hundred gallon diesel tank that'll run it for five days straight and stop. Wow. Truly a boat. I wouldn't have mind that during Hurricane Irma. Hydraulic platforms on either side. Look at this guys. Look at and this. In the center of this platform we've got your typical dive door. That's on awesome. The side of the boat. That is optional. 
That is awesome. And can, boxes on either side. They can't operate that, mm -hmm. Alan. They can't operate the boat with those doors open, or can they? You can. I mean, of course, you wouldn't. Um, you'll want to raise them first, but the boat will still crank and run. And oh, okay. Down. Yeah, I know sometimes uh, they have like emergency things that, that doesn't allow it. Okay, great. So here, freshwater sink, cutting board, ice maker. Grill. Wow. Pull out refrigerator. And these stools just slide away, huh? Yep, these stools. That is crazy. No, that is crazy. Oh Maybe my so goodness. Down here in this drawer. That is so well thought out. That is awesome. I'm sure somebody got a raise when they designed that, huh? <laughs> All right. Wow, guys, look at this. Scout is absolutely amazing. Full digital bed. Breaker panels here. More storage as well. Rod to every system. back here you got a GPS back here and everything yep that's great we've got a Garmin control here that'll allow you to control all the garments on the boat without having to walk around and touch screens so it'll control everything on the boat how many garments are there on here this one has got uh, one, two, three, four, <laughs> it's oh, yeah. pretty funny that I'm asking this question you have to wonder what's in here that's crazy um, so we got a patent on this it's a bow eye camera. Okay. It allows you to see your anchor when you pull it up and make sure you don't have any garbage attached to it. Um, if there's people swimming in front of the boat, you can see that. Nice. Inching up to a dock. Very nice. That's patent pending. And you, you have access up here as well. This is great. Yeah. Electric sunroof. Nice. Oh. Nice. Ooh, awesome. And then electric side ones. All oh, these side ones open up as well? Wow. Okay. See? This is this is great. Alright guys, so we're getting inside here. What were you gonna uh, show me, Alan? It's electric shade up here. So if you don't want light coming in, or if you're down here changing and want some privacy, just hit a button and bam. Oh, that is too crazy. That is awesome. Let me get in there so I can see. Definitely feel the air conditioning. Oh wow, look at this guys. Very, very That's nice. So, wow. And you have the bathroom in here, right? No, that's actually an aft private stateroom. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'm here thinking this is a bathroom. Look at that. How crazy is that? So everything's hidden. Yeah. Yeah. Got linen. Clothes hanging closet here. <laughs> you got like this reminds me of a panic room. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at this guy. You wouldn't even have thought that was in there. It's all hidden. Good storage options. Push in. You got storage behind everything here. Even behind the AV system is here. Here we go. That's great. You got your TV there. Yeah, snow top, TV, microwave. There's another TV back in the master stateroom. Get a pull-out refrigerator. Pull-out freezer. Ice maker. Nice. Storage here. Wine cooler. And this is all American white oak veneer. You got backlit snow white onyx. The master stateroom. 
here in the salon. And is this the restroom in here? <laughs> I don't even know which door to ask anymore. All right, so wow. Look at that. It's extremely comfortable. And on the other side, we've got a shower. It's a complete separate shower, like that. And also here, look at that. If you want full privacy, you just close the door. Plug the door here. Wow. So, so let me ask you, Alan, what buyer, okay, is transitioning to a boat like this? What, what, I mean, there's, there's obviously a transition going on, and what, what are you trying to capture, and who are you trying to market to for a boat like this? It's really the guy that wants everything and wants the very best, so um, you get speed with this boat. You're able to drive it yourself with all the systems, the side thrusters, the, the joystick controls. Um, you have comfort. You can come down here. You can actually really spend a weekend on it. It's comfortable. The yeah. AC is perfect. I feel, I feel like I'm in a house. Yeah, and you've got the performance to get there. So running over to Bimini or something like that, 70 miles an hour. Yeah, taking no time. Um, this table lowers down. I don't know if I said that earlier, but that lowers down to create another berth. And nice. if you have the the helm area and fully enclosed back there, mm -hmm. that back seat, forward-facing back seat, okay. you can actually sleep on that as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, listen, um, Alan, if they wanted to get more information, where would they go to, to get more information on this boat and, and other scout boats? Where can they go online? www.scoutboats.com. Yeah. Awesome. You guys have outdone yourself again? Yeah. Is there like a 10-motor boat coming soon? No. <laughs> no these are... The first couple were retail sold, and uh, of course we'll put whatever anyone wants on it. And this particular gentleman wanted uh, six of the new Merc, so nice. Yeah. yeah, give them what they want. All right, thank you so much, yeah. guys. Thank you. All right, guys, we have another monster here at the show. This is a new one. I haven't seen this one. All brand new, guys. Monster, monster, monster. We have Taylor, who's going to show us Hi, this boat. <laughs> Taylor, wow. I mean, I don't even know where to start. Um, first of all, do I have to take off my shoes so I can get on this beautiful? Yes, please. Okay, definitely. Oh my goodness. Let me hop ahead and get the door open for you. People are going to fall over. All right. All right. Welcome aboard, like you say, right? Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to start. So, I'm going to start at the back. Okay. So we've got lockers all the way down the back. We've got light wheels on each side of the back. Rocket launcher in the middle. This new seat, and it has speakers in the bottom with the boat's logo engraved in them. That is so nice. My goodness, it looks so elegant. And we have a cooler up top that opens this way with a chill plate in it. Or it can open on either side. And what's the size of this boat? This is a 57 foot center console MTI. 57 footer, yes. wow. And it's got 400 Mercury racing engines. What's the top speed on this, Taylor? This one is about 60. 60 miles an hour? Yes. Okay, that is crazy. And it's got the whole tower and everything. Yes, it has a second station up there as well as speaker pods all the way up. That is too crazy. So I see this is kind of set up for fishing and yes. is this boat already sold? This is. I, 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 yeah. Pleasure version and a fish version. Okay. This is obviously the fish version and this is sold to a customer. They take in a lot of fishing tournaments and the last fishing tournament they were in, their son actually won junior angler. That is awesome. <laughs> so you have access to go up to your tower up here. I, I mean the the design of the boat is just beautiful. If you could lead the way and let yeah, me know. Absolutely. See what we what else we got up here. So down the side, we have a trash can. Nice. And then we also have fender holders on both sides. That's always convenient. Yes. Nicely storage put away. And it steps up right here to help with visibility over the bow. 
And all of the seats are bolster seats, so they easily just come up and down, so you can sit however you feel comfortable for your ride. How many people can be, you know, on this boat? Quite a few. Um, we don't really have necessarily a top number. On our 42 center console, which is obviously smaller than this one, we had 23 people the other day, so you can really pack it on. Wow, the upholstery looks incredible. And there's also tilt outs underneath the seats. So this is just easy for cell phone, keys, anything you want to throw in <laughs> there while you're running. Everybody has their own locker, I love yeah. it. <laughs> That's too funny. We have a 24 inch Garmin in the middle. And this is JPO Motors, so you've got that over here with your sky hook on it. Wow, that is really nice. Is that real carbon fiber up there? It is carbon panels, yes. Wow, look at that. Nice JLO audio speaker system. Let's look at the visibility yeah. real quick. I want to see how... Wow, look at that, guys. Nice leather up here. Yeah, it's black, so you don't have a reflection back on you. Yeah. And then we've also got a 360 Garmin right here. And then there's also on the rear wing, there's also a camera faces backwards that if you have your fish on or anything you can start recording see what's going on without actually having to turn on and keep your eyes on on the water incredible so let's see where the i guess where the, the dancing and the party goes yeah. on so on both sides we have wind deflectors cities come out and snap in oh nice and so this and this will keep the wind off everyone sitting in there nice Okay, so this is not what I expected, right? I didn't expect this to have a sentient. Look at this. It has a full cabin. You got to be kidding me. So oh. we have a smart TV, a fireplace, a full bed, wraparound couch, real granite countertops, tile flooring, um, pull out drawers for your fridge and freezer. And all of this wood in here is actually hand airbrushed fiberglass. So it's a lot easier for maintenance and cleaning than real wood would be. So here, does any of this stuff move out here or how does this work here? You just, you just hop right on over the couch and lay down. And there. lay down, yep. nice. Let me get the other angle. Mm -hmm. And all this is storage here? Yes. Oh my And then goodness. you have a full bathroom right here. All oh, the air in here, the air conditioning is great. I don't even, I don't even want to get outside. Yes. This is fantastic. And oh, the man. air conditioning pumps up through the dash and you have vent blowers up there. This, this is really, really, really nice. Look at this, guys. You got all this area, sinks. My goodness, let me tell you. And this is your panel. You have access to everything here, essentially, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at the door. So this is where you would come <laughs> to hide a, This is where you would come to basically chill out a little while, right. hang out, get away from the sun, you know. I'm um, assuming there's a generator on board as well. Yes, there is. What, what's, uh, what's it, a ge uh, diesel generator? What, what it's is the diesel diesel fisher panda generator right and i'm assuming it has its own um, fuel system and all that stuff its own tank yes nice so let's look at where the party is so up front here we have a front lounge that has fold down cup holders and then you also have a little bench right here so it allows for some more seating and then this opens up to be storage on up wow look at that storage under here that's a big you know and the crazy thing about it is you have all this area up here to just party i mean this is crazy under this hatch here we have a eskimo ice chipper so that allows you to throw your catch in there and be able to keep it on ice all uh, uh, in those lockers down there yes in this one right here that is and crazy. then we have some front steps 
to help people get off on some of the higher docks and it was just a request from the customer so we did it for them. And then we have storage on either side for your lines. So there's just some clips in here, clip your open so when you get tied up you can throw it out and get all settled. Taylor, where are you guys making these boats? We're making these boats in St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. Yes. Let me tell you, you guys have a fantastic product, beautiful. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, I, it's, I see, it seems like I repeat this whole thing. Everybody sees these videos and they hear me saying the words fantastic, monster, oh my God, amazing. But this, when you see these boats in person, guys, that's exactly what you feel because it's, it's great. You guys this have done a fantastic job. Front bow speakers, so these lift up electronically and have speaker pods in there to blast music out as well. And and how do you just pull them up or? Do it's you have, on the dash. It's, it's just a button you press. A bu button. So you just want to tell everybody I've arrived. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's, exactly. That's, that's too great. So Taylor, last thing, um, anything about the tower that they need to know or anything? Um, the tower. This is the first one we've done with the tower. It was. Um, the tower is made by Custom Pipe Designs down here in Florida. Okay. And it's got the second station. There's a garment up there. It also works with the JPO Motors. And it's a great addition to our center console. We're really happy we did this. Great. So if they wanted to find more information on this particular boat and other boats, where would they go online to check it out? Yes. You can go to our website, marinetechnologyinc.com, or follow us on Facebook or Instagram at, marine, at MTI Boats. Guys. We got Taylor at MTI. What an amazing monster. Smash a like if you guys think this is a beast. Guys, she wasn't on the water in Fort Lauderdale, but she is in Miami. And Eric said, come on. I, I told him, look, I didn't properly get to show this boat. And now, now we're gonna display probably one of the best, if not the best center console on earth at this moment. I like it. Let's show, let, let, let's show these people what we got. Watch your step. <laughs> All right, guys. We are inside the Midnight Express 60. What, where do we even start with this? I like to start in the back. <laughs> There's, I mean, what, what, all we need is some food right here. <clears throat> this is. So this whole grill pops up, a push of a button. The cushion comes up, it goes away, the cushion goes back down. Just pressing a button all hides away. Right here. Quad 627s. <coughs> so how 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 are those six uh, seven marine uh, pushing this Minet We're Express? Doing mid 70s. Wow. So so you got four and you're you're flying yeah, on such a huge moves. boat. And it eats up rough water like you've never seen. I did 71 in six foot seas you, you know and what you don't feel it I, 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 I believe that some people will say Boom, you know but on this trust me guys look at this this is a 60 foot monster five ten years ago if somebody would have said yeah guess what we're gonna put four outboards on a 60 footer and go 70 miles an hour people will laugh at you look how, do. <laughs> look, 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 look how it is now right <laughs> So tell me about this. Is this a screen that we have back here? It's a 65 inch TV. This customer said we had to put in the boat. No, you have to <laughs> so put it. If not, I don't buy the boat. You got the sure shade, uh, shade on the top. And it comes in and out as you press a button. Under both of these seats are huge refrigerators on both sides. Another drawer refrigerator on this side and an ice maker on the port side. And also storage here. What's in here? That's just that's another fender locker like we saw on the 43. Okay, sweet. So there's six of them on this boat. Six of them. Yeah. And wow. then we got a table that pops up out of the floor. You can come up halfway. Okay, good. And so it's a sunbed as well. That is awesome. So over here, everybody has lunch. Yeah. Chills. You got the shade open if you want. Put it away if you if want you, the sun. If you want to get some sun. Dive door on both sides. Electronic or you just open it? No, they're manual. They're manual. Yeah. No, nope, nothing uh, to break. It's even better. Hall number two. We're doing six of a, a new motor coming out. It's gonna be a pretty cool boat. Six? Is it a, a seven marine as well? No. Another. So you, you said a motor. You didn't even want to say who it is. So I'm not you, you, allowed to uh, say anything. Okay, but there's six of them. <laughs> oh my God. So that tells me it's lighter, faster, and stronger. You don't have to say anymore. Oh my goodness. And then number three will be diesel inboards with artisans. Diesels, yeah. number three. 
and that's already been sold, ready to go, built. That one's not sold. It's I'm, not sold. I'm hoping I get to keep, but it'll probably be sold before I ever get. Yeah. Which I, maybe you can get the. Maybe you you might be able to play with it before you have to maybe, sell it. Maybe. Let's see. All right. So. So tell me about. So here. we got four 22 inch Garmin's here. Everything is controlled from these, including your shore power, um, all your air conditioning. Uh, we have uh, blackout windows in the entire boat. That's all controlled from here. That is. We have a proportional balance during thruster. We've got air conditioning out the dash. All the glass on this boat is Gorilla glass. So it's really thin, really light, amazingly strong. We had a spare piece we ran over the forklift. <laughs> it's cool stuff. And then, like I said, all the windows in the cabin are privacy glass. So you hit a switch and, and that's they, it. they go dim to yeah. opaque. You, you, can't, you can't open any of these. That, no, they're these all fixed. fixed. Everything's fixed. Okay. Yeah. Here, we go down the cabin. First time I came in here, I was like, nah, nah, this is not ready. I thought I was like in some hotel somewhere. I was like, wait, where am I? You wake somebody up in here and you're like, wow, where did I land? So tell me about what, what the thinking was when you guys decided to sign in, design in here. And So this project kind of fell on our laps by accident. Yeah. <laughs> we had the hull mm -hmm. and we were originally going to do it as a sport yacht. Okay. Big, you know, big closed bow, three state rooms, and all that. And we thought we saw the the future of center consoles with the cabins in the console. But mm -hmm. you know what? We've got this awesome platform. Mm -hmm. We can create a crazy, yeah. crazy oh, cabin. Oh, it's so crazy. We have two full state rooms, and they're very well, nice sized state rooms. One of the reasons why I came over here, guys, I came with a smaller camera, so it's a little bit wider of an angle, but I wanted you guys to experience everything uh, as, as I see it while I'm in here. Um, so so <laughs> which room is bigger? Because they're both huge. They're both pretty much the same. Yeah, it's like, so you don't have anybody fighting for, I want this room or that room, right. you know? <laughs> Get either or it doesn't matter. Yeah. So wh where was the bathroom in here? Is it, is, right it here. it's in here? Okay, so let me open it in there so they can see in there. Um, so we have the bathroom here. You got some venting in there and whole shower separate. I mean, this is crazy. And then there's a full hanging closet behind you as well. Uh, and one of these doors actually yeah, come up. Just push. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You guys are hiding things like crazy. So so let's go to where where the party happens. I guess everybody goes and hangs out in the front and... Sure, after you. Let's see. Oh, that J.O. Audio. Uh, I think, uh, what is there, like 20 or 30 of those things There's on here? 20... You don't worry. You, when you speakers. can't when you can't count, it doesn't matter. Yeah. At that point, when it's so many that you you, you, that you don't even need to remember, you can't even remember. I think that I think that that's enough. More here. Look at this for your cups and cocktails. You're standing on a table that comes up. You know what I like too. I'm actually standing on a table, and I'm not going to be stubbing my toe. And it's like it wasn't even there. Right. That's awesome. Sometimes you can also come up halfway and make this a big sunbed as well. Yeah, that that's. So, you know, I have my thing. I call it monsters at the show. Some uh, some people are saying that these are you know super super consoles. I would say this is a super mega console already at this point. <laughs> I mean, you know, at I, I, what point do we get to giga mega console? I, don't I mean, know. It depends I, what people are buying. You if know? You, if they're willing to to pay they for it you guys it, will make, make it. it all right this that's what we gotta do hey so eric if they wanted to check out not just this boat maybe get a custom build where would they go how do they get in contact with your team you know give yeah, them the mid information we're uh midnightboats.com okay all our information is on there you can also uh contact contact us directly uh info at midnightboats.com uh and then phone number is 954-745-8284 last question where are you guys building these monsters we're in north miami north miami all yep. this is being and we built build everything in-house in our facility we do not sub it out to anybody you know south florida we have such a great 
uh, labor force when it comes to the boating world is incredible. Yeah, I need a lot more of them though. Hey, <laughs> you guys heard it here. So if you want to come work for me, come, come you, and find me. It's a caveat, you have to be good. You have to be <laughs> damn good. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. We're out of here, another monster. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep on watching, baby. More monsters to come.